What's up everyone, Tate down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset any Samsung Galaxy phone. This is really quick and easy to do and it even is for some of the newer phones as well. Any Samsung Galaxy phone can be reset the same way. It's the same exact method. Now depending on what you have stored on your phone, it might take a lot longer for it to finish processing the factory reset but stick with me because it's the same exact steps that you are going to take. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is to go into the settings, you swipe up, find your settings and you go into it. Now here you can do one of two things when you're in your settings. You can scroll all the way to the bottom to general management and then from there you can go to the bottom of that and select resets, that will take you to the reset screen. Another thing you can do is just in your settings you can go and search factory and when you research, or whenever you search factory, it'll bring you to the factory reset menu. From here, you can reset various things. You can reset all settings, reset network settings, reset accessibility settings, and factory resets. That is gonna be the option you're going to want to choose. If you're factory resetting the entire phone, you're gonna choose factory data resets. So this one here, you're gonna click it, and it's gonna tell you everything that is going to be erased on your phone. Take note of it, and before you go and factory reset your phone, just remember anything that you don't have backed up or you don't have saved elsewhere that was on your phone will be erased. Photos, music, downloaded apps, pictures, everything, even your settings are gonna be going back to factory settings. So if you're okay and you backed everything up and you're ready to factory reset, you're gonna hit the big blue factory reset button and from there, it is going to warn you once again that all of your personal information, apps, and everything is going to be erased, it's going to be deleted, and it cannot be recovered. If you've backed it up to an SD card, that's honestly what I use. I have a micro SD card always in my Samsung phones, that's why I choose Samsung over Apple. And with that, I've already backed everything up, so all I have to do is go and hit the big blue button that says delete all. And this will shut down your phone. And now, if you're signed into your Samsung account on your phone, it will ask you before your factory resets to sign in to verify that it actually is you attempting to factory reset this phone. As you can see, I already did that before now and I already had it factory reset. I'm just showing you guys. And this is on a Samsung Galaxy A50. So here you'll see it. It should be fairly quick because I already factory reset this phone. I'm just doing it again on camera to show you guys how easy it is. Again, it will take likely a lot longer for you guys to factory reset your Samsung. And I know I'm showing you guys on a Samsung Galaxy A50, which I believe was released in 2017, this model. It can be worked on any Samsung Galaxy phone. Doing this method, just going through searching factory, will bring you to the factory settings, and then you just factory reset your phone. Again, you might have to sign into it to verify that it's you, but it shouldn't take no time at all. Just remember before factory resetting to go and back everything up. I always save my music because that's what I usually have the most of on my phone and any videos that I have for YouTube. I'll go and I'll save those on the micro SD card and then I'll just transfer them whenever I do. So I pull out before factory resetting, I always pull out my micro SD card. That way I know 100% nothing on my micro SD card is going to be erased. Now, even though this is taking a little bit of time to factory reset, just remember if you have a lot of stuff on your phone, it will take even longer. So this is how you factory reset any Samsung Galaxy phone. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was very helpful for you guys. I'll leave this here. Please take care. Peace.